This video will show you how you can create and share a calendar in Outlook. So I have Outlook open on my computer and I need to get to my calendars by clicking the calendar link in the lower left hand corner. So this brings me into view all of my calendars. You can see I currently have my IT everything calendar visible. I can turn on my personal calendar as well and you can see the different events and things like that. You'll also notice from the side that I have some calendar groups set up that actually just help me organize the different calendars that I have either created or that people have shared with me. You can create calendar groups if you choose to by right clicking the My Calendars link and click, clicking New Calendar Group or you will notice that pretty much anything I can do from right clicking on something over here in the left column, I can also use an icon at the top to accomplish the same job. So I could create a calendar group with the icon called Calendar Groups. For the time being, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new calendar that I can share out with my group. So to do that, I want to click the Open Calendar button from the top and choose create new blank calendar. I'm going to create just a planning calendar but this could be a calendar you created to share with your grade level or your entire campus or a PLC or any other type of group that regularly needs to set appointments and keep up with each other. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK now that I've named it. And you'll notice that it pops in over on the left hand side under my calendars. I'm going to go ahead and put a check mark in front of it so it's visible and you will notice that it pops up in the default view of side by side. So I've got my IT everything calendar here and I've got my planning calendar here that I just created. But I actually prefer to see them all on one calendar. So I'm going to click the little arrow that's in the calendar on the right. It's the overlay mode. When I click on that, it overlays these two calendars on top of each other so I can see all the events. You'll notice I can turn on my instructional tech calendar group. I'll need to switch back to the month view and you can see that I have multiple calendars visible right now and this is just an easier way than having them all in separate calendars. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and get back just to my planning calendar. It's easy to add an event. I can just double click into a day and schedule a meeting. I can put more details if I want. I hit save and close and you'll notice that that event is on my calendar. The next thing I need to do is share the calendar. It's really easy to do. I can right click on the word planning, that's the name of my calendar, and go down to share and I get several choices. Or I've got it highlighted and I can come up into the top and choose share calendar. When I do, it opens up something that looks like an email. It will send as an email, and this is where I put in people's names. So I find Lisa, and I want to go ahead and put her in here. You're going to notice there's a small box under the subject so that says recipient can add, edit, and delete items in this calendar. If I'm creating this calendar and I just want people to be able to see it, and I'm going to manage it or or just a couple of us are going to manage it, then I'm going to leave this unchecked. In this case, I want Lisa to have full editing access as well, so I'm going to go ahead and check this so that she can add events to the calendar, she can delete them, and she can edit them. I go ahead and click Send. I, by the way, I could add as many names as I wanted in there. I click Send. It even pops up a little warning and says, okay, you're about to share this calendar and the permissions you're granting are editor permissions. And that's what I want, so I click yes. And you'll see it's sent Lisa a message. So it's easy to create a calendar and share a calendar in Outlook.